Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at JavaScript do while loop and that's what will be used. As you can see, it's under chapter 6, the do while loop. It's the last part of the chapter 6 for loops. So a do while loop is different from a while loop in that uh, at least part of the first part of the block will be executed at least once. So in this case, as you can see at the do part, this will be executed before the condition is actually run. So this allows the part of the loop to actually run at least one time. Uh, so meaning that if this is false, it won't matter because this will run at least once. That's the difference between a while loop and all the other type of loops because the other loops or if any any time the condition is false, no part of the loop will, will run, no part of the code of the block of the loop will, will run. So as you can tell, uh, this is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course, which also inspired this tutorial. JavaScript, as usual, is run in a web browser for client-side interactive automated web applications, but it can also be run server-side, which allows JavaScript application run outside of a web browser. I, I have tutorials on that using Node.js and Tori and other ways like Python or PHP to run outside of uh, a web browser. Uh, so the other thing here, I just want to let you know that JavaScript follows the MS Script standard. It's licensed under W3C software license, allows commercial use, modification, distribution, allows making derivatives proprietary. So make sure to subscribe for more frequent content. Let's begin the tutorial. So you can always copy and paste. So let's create uh, two variables here. First one will be pickup truck. This is going to be an object. We have the model. Finally, we have the last key, which will be the year and the value for the year because it's an integer or a number doesn't need to be quoted. This is also valid uh, between the squiggly brackets, also valid uh, JSON. The next one will just be a simple JavaScript array. Okay, and then we're going to sh uh, show you why, you, what you, you can do without loops. The problem if you try to do it without loops, it's, it will be very tedious. This, um, in this example, I, all I'm doing is just uh, outputting the value. So you can imagine if this was a large object, this would get very tiring because I need to know uh, the key, the key value pairs. And even even for just the simpler array, I need to, as you can see, here is it takes a while and this is a very small array with only five items now with the do while loop Pick up truck. Then what I do is I need a key and then the value. Uh, 
and then increment the counter. And then here's a while part. Well, counter is less than entries pick up truck dot length. And then the other loop. And increment it. And then the while n is less than even numbers dot length. Okay, I made a mistake here, so I'll fix it quickly. Oh, it's up here. Another one I made, mistake. Yeah, there we go. So you see, printing them out uh, one by one is very tedious because look how many times I have to type this. And then with the loop, you can see I, I can manipulate the values, the data, and do more things as well. So it's much simpler, if, just fewer lines of code as well. You can find the full article at jumbo.com slash javascript hyphen do hyphen while hyphen loop. I give an example here, I create a table for you so you can see uh, the, the expression basically the do inside the do is where you put your the code block and then the while the condition is here so while this is true it will continuously run until this becomes false now the difference as i repeated from the beginning of the story is that in the if you do a do while loop it will run at least once meaning this will run before it does the while part so this allows you to sometimes you might need to run something at least once that's where the do while loop comes in and of course you have a break and continue break allows you to stop and like the name says you break out of the loop continue lets you skip one iteration so for example uh, in this example it says less than 10 so if i put skip when it's the first one it will then it will skip running everything in loop but then it will go to number two that's what continue does and you can expand the code here you see the code snippet for is for today's tutorial it's just a screenshot of the IDE and the output when you compile the code. This is the video you're watching right now. Be sure to subscribe for more frequent uh, content. And of course, you have some, you have the, the more courses, but right now I'm promoting the learning JavaScript course at ojamboshop.com. Remember, you can use coupon code SCHOOL for 20% off until the end of 2024. What this means is that on December, Let's say you sign up today or December 31st. You still, once you sign up, you still have access to the full course. It, it doesn't end on December 31st, 2024. You still have access just, just that's when the coupon ends. And of course, if you prefer just the ebook version, the ebook version is not going to come with the IDE or the uh, uh, text editor or, uh, or compiler or, or the language itself, but you can get all the examples and content uh it's available on amazon just search for editor jumbo the links are also in the description and as usual here as you can see uh in under references you have the learning javascript course on jumboshop.com you have the learning javascript ebook on amazon for all your type of readers and if you prefer or if you want one-on-one -on -one courses online you can contact me at ojumboservices.com for custom tutorials uh, if you want help uh, building a website or application, mobile, desktop, tablet, uh, web, I can help you with that as well. Thank you.